my favorite bit of the podcast. I feel you. Facts. We have a contribution this week uh-huh. via the IG. Mm-hmm. Very good. And uh, is it is it is it a male or female submission this week? A female. Oh, okay. Big, like. big fan of the podcast. She's been riding from early. Shout out you, whoever you are. And here we are. So I went on probably one of the best first dates I've ever been on in February this year. Oh, very good. We had a great connection and spent hours chatting and getting to know each other. Okay. I saw him quickly for a second date and we started spending a lot of time together. Mm. I felt like I could really like him. Mm -hmm. This was the first time properly dating since breaking up with my ex. We were together four years and he was abusive. So it took me a while to acknowledge that, find myself and feel happy again post breakup. But I got help and I'm thriving. Good for you. I told this guy about my past and if anything was to move forward, I would need to take it slow because I wasn't ready to fully commit. Mm -hmm. I was honest that right now I couldn't give him any kind of exclusivity. He was really understanding and said, this is your journey and I would never try to push you through it. Oh, okay. Very good. Fast forward a couple of weeks and he started applying pressure about moving forward. Mm. He told me he loved me. And we started having deep emotional conversations. After and After a couple of weeks. I was repeating myself in saying I needed time and it started to make me feel guilty. Mm-hmm. I felt like he sometimes would send me messages to get a reaction or be a bit petty. Mm. I got the ick. Oh. Felt like he wasn't respecting what I had said, so I cut it off. From then, I did up Hot Girl Summer and had the best time. Very good. I can, uh, I can confirm. Yes. They did? Uh, yes. Hot did Girl it, Summer was in was, operation. You no, know, yeah. fully. Very yeah. good. Fully. Very good. Um, I recently met a guy who's into a lot of the same things as me, and I think I have the chance to live out some of my fantasies, and I want to explore that. Mm -mm. Very good. Very good. Mm -mm. Recently, the guy reached out, the previous guy, and we started speaking again, and we have seen each other a couple of times. Mm. Should I give it a chance with this guy? My G resurrected it. Mm. Am I just being scared, so I am avoiding something good? Back again. Or would I have already gone with it if I really thought he could be the one? Ooh. Firstly, thank you very much for that submission because this is great. Yes. There's, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of like, uh, a lot levels to, to this. To, to dissect. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Unpack. Yes. What do you want to go with first? So let's start from the top. Mm. Right. So, so went on a date. Mm-hmm. Date went fantastically well. Mm-hmm. Met again. Yep. Explained your position. Yeah. I don't really want anything serious right now. I've just come out of this thing. Super understanding. <laughs> then a couple For of weeks couple later, weeks, said, yeah. I love you. Yeah. Cheese. Cheese. Mad chat. Isn't it? That is mad chat. I think there's an H, H line or something, or this RD <laughs> thing. And like, uh, look at your man. He's not serious. <laughs> <laughs> like, have you seen that too? Uh, I, I think since the beginning of time, red flags always circulate when somebody drops the L word that early. That's yeah, very 100%. mad chat. Uh, um, so the first thing we should say is we, we address the topic of going back to your ex a few episodes ago. So technically this isn't an ex, right? So yeah, she exactly. broke up with an ex and got back into the dating scene. Right. And she told this person, I need to take it so slow. But they were doing things for a while. Two, and two now dates. Back. I wouldn't yeah. say they were yeah. like going out. They're they were dating. dating. Yeah. They're doing things. Yeah, yeah. doing Up things and dating. dating. Enjoying themselves. So, mm. so, so the pod's position has already been established on g- revisiting. Johnny's position. Well, was no, it not no, yours no, as well? No. It's, it's the pod's position. The pod's position fair. on revisiting well, things. Yeah. Uh, Johnny and I shared that position, to be fair. We might not want to tar you with our brush. Yes. Okay. But basically, we, I think we agreed, the council agreed that it was kosher to, to, to microwave your meals con- <laughs> from the fridge. Oh, Charlie, that was not what I agreed. Well, th- it's okay. I thought we it's said okay. that, that okay people don't back. fundamentally change and you shouldn't go back. That's no. why I said it's Johnny's oh, view. No, I, okay, then I, I it's Johnny's view. Sorry, okay. Richard and I had the same view. Yeah. Right, my view yeah. is that it's, it's fine to go back. Yeah. Okay, you like the, uh, the, 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 the waves that come from yes. the micro. Yes, mm. <laughs> it's warm on the inside. So... <laughs> Let's approach. Well, only warm on the outside. Yeah, it's actually cold on the yeah, inside. <laughs> you guys still talking about microwaves, yeah? Cool. Um, so, <laughs> she has a situation in which this person who she liked right. and was enjoying herself is now with, back. Is putting the pressure on her to move at a pace that which she's not she's comfortable, not comfortable with. with. Yeah. yeah. Fair. Should she take a risk in saying, look, actually, maybe I'm just being a bit long? Maybe I'm being a little bit too protective of myself here. Or is she going about it the right way? Let's start with that. Oh, I I, I must have misheard. I thought that she'd already cut this guy off and then he was back again after Hot Girl Summer. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, but now she's considering it again because she feels like maybe she pushed him away. Okay, Okay. so so then then my position is obviously that it's fine to engage in this. Otherwise, you two are going to be like, no, don't go back to your ex. It didn't work last time. People haven't changed. 
Um, so I guess it comes back. It comes back to this argument that we that we've had previously. I think it doesn't though. Okay. Uh, has he? Has he understood properly uh, that you weren't in a position last time? Did he understand why you felt uncomfortable at the time? And if your position hasn't changed on that front, is he more likely to be receptive this time to those circumstances? If you either are more able to commit uh, or he has changed, then it's worth giving it a go. You really like the guy. Why not? And you've had your fun. So it's cuffing season, baby. And it, we're, uh, we're slowly uh, leaving the summer. And yes, yeah, the yeah, days yeah, are getting shorter. Mm. Yeah, entering the water. Um, I'd say that uh, Abiyadi and uh, and my thesis, hypothesis, about not going backwards, doesn't work or doesn't count here oh, because you're not in a relationship. Agreed. Right? So, like, she, this, the, the submitter, the girl, she doesn't mm -hmm. know her partner well enough to know whether someone can change and all that kind of stuff. You're just dating a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Okay, you did things like you said, but it's not that deep. So... <laughs> I would say that our hypothesis on this does not hold in this case, in Agreed. the sense that there's, you know, it's still the dis they're still in the discovery phase. Mm -hmm. So, I think what's important is Johnny's point as to w I'd like to know how he's reemerged. All right. Mm. So you've had hot girl summer. Let's say, for argument's sake, how long does the hot girl summer last? Is it a couple of months? Are we talking about summer? Hot girl summer is a lifestyle, Tommy. Sure, but I'm talking about time frame. That hot girl summer we're talking about. If you've had three months of doing your thing and then he's popped up or have you had like a week and he's come back on the scene? Well, it, sound, I mean? it sounds from the evidence available that she's had a very fulfilled summer. So, so if yeah. let's call it a couple months. It's so let's okay. just assume she it's said a couple we of did a hot girl summer and had a great time. So cool. she recently met with a guy. So mm. let's call it a, let's couple, call of it a months. couple of months. Okay. Yeah. If we're calling it a couple of months, there's two or three interesting things about that. Okay. Firstly, mm -hmm. in the time period where you're doing the hot girl summer, you obviously haven't come across any G's who are maybe more interesting than this guy. Because mm. if you had, Ooh. you wouldn't have given him the time of day okay. when he's come back. So, firstly, so right? all, for all she said about this new guy has given her the chance to live out some of the fantasies yeah. that she wants to explore, that maybe he isn't actually as interesting as man mm. number one. Mainly mm. because of the way I she described that. that first date. She I was like, that. it was the best first date I've had. Yeah. And it was this, it was that. So there's obviously some form of a connection. Yeah. And our chat about not going backwards doesn't hold because they're not in, they weren't in a relationship. Backs. So I think it's, it's fair. It's only fair to yourself as her in this case. It's only fair to her to explore, have a chat. Like, I mean, like if he if you very quickly find that he hasn't ch like he has his viewpoints or the way he's moving hasn't changed then you bin him off again. Right. Mm. But if your gut is telling you one thing, just follow your gut is what I'm saying. So if your gut is going one way or the other, just just follow that. Listen up. Oh, Sub shit, submit up. Follow your gut. Shit advice. It's not. I've given my advice. Right. My advice. But I said what supersede my we're advice. Gonna flip, gut. We're going to flip the patriarchy on its head, baby. Oh, OK. My advice. Submit her. Fuck them both. <laughs> Until you've made your mind up. That's right. They've both been fucked. Well, wait, has, she juggle, fucked second, has she fucked second guy? Juggle. Yet? I'm saying, oh, you're saying while juggle. you are figuring it out. Mm. Enjoy yourself. Mm. The autumn of enjoyment. Enjoy yes. yourself. They say that... Uh, because as the old adage goes, if this was men doing that and they were dating X amount of girls at the same time, mm. no one would say shit. You do you. They, they say that October and November <laughs> are good months for <laughs> exploration. I've never heard of those. Have Co you not? Cocktober, Cocktober, and October and November. That's right. Shit. It's autumn season, baby. Yeah, I am. Um, clearly, it sounds like this first guy, even though he was a little bit pushy, mm -hmm. is probably who you're more interested the in. The better fit. Mm. Holistically. So, mm -hmm. full picture, future, seeing yourself with this person. Whereas this new person may be more attractive, may be down for a few more things, given mm. the conversations you've had. And that's exciting. You're single, living your life. Some are still here. That might be interesting to explore. Maybe you need to learn a little bit more about this person. Maybe something will come out of further conversations with this new person that will make you realize maybe they're not what you want beyond the physical. I would say, back to my initial point, what's the harm in like, you know, 
splitting your week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I would say that I'm still... I'm having fun. I'm still, I like sweet and sour. No, I'm, uh, I'm still concerned. I have your cake. I'm still... I eat it. I'm still concerned about guy number one doing that Dizzy Rascal. I I, I love you that after three weeks. Yeah, that yeah? Suspect. That's very weird. Chat. This guy seems very just, fickle. Very yeah. easy. Just Overly easy. easy. Very needy. Yes. Mm. Maybe, needy and needy. Maybe he just knows. Why are you hating? Boy. Maybe, maybe it's just part of the game. Yeah, maybe. Baby, to I be fair, him. that is a tactic of many a man. Like I know, they go, a couple they go in and, Yeah, they yeah. overwhelm oh. with the emotions yeah, early doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. a couple that's of men like that. Yeah, yeah certified lover boy just came out, bruv. You know what I mean? It's just, that's that's the anthem, yes. isn't it? Just go in and just be like, yeah. Why not? Love yeah, you. Yeah, I, I actually think that she's like, she should explore guy number two more. Um, but basically, play them both is, is going to be the, the pod's position <laughs> on this one. Uh, but definitely explore guy number two more because if, if he's allowing you to play out some of your fantasies or whatever, da, 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 you might you might end up with the similar sense of fulfillment that you yeah. got from guy number one without the uh, emotional blackmail that comes with it. Get both of them around your friends. Let your friends do a little bit of an examination yeah. mm, of these that. people. See, see. <laughs> Go with, like, she'll know, she'll know. She knows already. She nah, knows. Sometimes inside. you can get taken in by nah, the you don't, you, Sometimes, but like, generally speaking, even when you think about yourselves in mm. these scenarios, you know. Like, I hear that. You know, inside, you know, you know where you're going to be like, you might be like uh, the second guy I can have the second guy I can have a bit more fun with yeah. or whatever. But regardless, she'll know inside which one she prefers. And like you're the guy, you guys had good advice as well to potentially playing with both. But ultimately, she knows what the answer is. And it sounds like to me anyway, it's probably the first Donnie. Uh, what I'm going to say is I think you should tell them both that it's your birthday next weekend. Uh, get one to take you out on a date on a Friday and one on a Saturday mm -hmm. and see which one you're feeling for on Sunday. And then you can Ooh. basically decide from there. There you go. Um, what's the pod position again? Play them both. Yeah. Play them both. Play them both until one of them sticks out. It's a long time until uh, 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 October and November. We've got September to get through. <laughs> mm, facts. That's very good. That's very good. <laughs>